Here at the sign shop for the county of San Diego, they're used to making signs. But recently, an assignment came in that was a little beyond the norm. We were contacted at the beginning of the year, and we were told that the existing display up at the state capitol building was falling apart. We had no knowledge that there was even a display at the capitol building, but we were eager to take a look at it and see how we could improve it or tear it down and redo it. Basically, you know, I, I operate on if the customer needs something, my, f my first answer is yes, I can do it. And then I have to go figure out how to do it. What Steve and Diane quickly figured out was that a complete redesign was in order. Some early mock-ups hinted at possibilities, but they knew the space allowed for something a little more interesting. We knew we really wanted to use the space to its fullest potential, and that would include doing a full-color diorama as a backdrop. We also want to get more heavily involved with adding three-dimensional elements within it. And that's where Steve found a talent he didn't know he had. This was a first for me, and I think it was a first for a lot of us. The department had entered the realm of model building, and it led to this beautiful rendition of San Diego's signature coastal bluffs, the creation of which required some field trips. I went to a number of areas and I took soil samples, but I found that the actual sand at Point Loma was a little too gritty for the scale that we're using. So we incorporated play sand with the soil to actually look a bit closer to what you would expect. But the bluff alone wasn't enough. To make things even more interesting, it was time to populate Steve's little world. I did consult with a number of model shops in the area. I found one that supplies little model pieces typically for train sets and they had figurines that I could use either as is or I could modify them, paint them and use them in our display. And some of them I had to create by hand such as the surfboard and the tiny birds out of modeling ceramic. Right now we are working on our windsurfer. This is one of the final pieces to be going on the display and um, I actually took a coffee stirrer and used that as the board. So this will be painted. Our little figurine will go on there, and then it'll be placed on one of the, one of the waves. And one weekend, I was actually recocking my bathroom. And I thought, you know, that might actually work. And that's what this is. This is bathroom caulk. <laughs> of course, our corner of California is a lot more than coastal bluffs. So the team had to come up with a way to illustrate the many other scenes that make up San Diego County. We asked everyone to submit photos that they have um, that might be representative. These are just some of the photos that we looked through when we started receiving them all from all the various departments. And it was a long and drawn out process of selection. We went through each one and it was either a yes pile, a maybe pile, or a no pile. And it was a constant process of elimination. It probably took about two months from start to finish. And they ended up with this, a frame created by Diane to the exact specifications of the Sacramento display, showing off the best our county has to offer, enough to make even the most hardened NorCal resident a little envious. Steve and I and the, his crew, we work very well together. It's, it's amazing what we can get done. You know, everybody has their own special talent. We put all those together and we can make some amazing things. Even a little animation was thrown in. This painted lady butterfly, a native of the San Diego area, will perch on an orange branch, flapping her wings to all the visitors passing by. We have a lot of creative talent in this department and it's just a pleasure to use it on things like this. Perhaps not as practical as a no parking sign, but certainly more interesting.